Hey guys, welcome back to some more Born from a Wish, the uh, DLC for Silent Hill 2. Where we last, last left last off, there was a gunshot and some run-in. We also picked up the um, whiteboard, I want to say was what it was called. Yeah, the whiteboard. Um, but that's where we left off. Is there anything interesting? I don't think... Okay, this is interesting. I don't think this was off last time when we got off. The last time I kind of had to rush off, so. For some reason, there's a ladder in the fireplace leading up. Along the way, I can see something that looks like a hole. Sure. Yeah, I, uh, I'll split this video and kind of combine them. I just don't like recording when I have family here. It's a little weird, you know? What is that? I got a red board. Hmm, okay. A blackboard. Interesting. And a grave. Whoa. That's a... Is that a grave? There's a square depression in the center of the tombstone. And above that is a carefully carved epitaph. Along with you die joy. All that remains is despair and the future of meaningless tomorrows. But I will never give up. One, to see your beautiful smile again. One, to beg the blessings of the gods. I will, I wait for that day. When the boards cover all, all sadness too will be covered. But until my dreams return to reality, I will have to swallow all the pain. There's a key firmly embedded in the stone beneath the depression. No matter how hard I try, I can't pull it out. A board. Hmm. So... This whiteboard looks like it. Ah, okay. I think I get it. So, use that here. I put the whiteboard into the hole. Cool. And then, do we just keep putting it like that? Like, or does it has to matter? I think. There's like a goblet. When the dark grail is found, I shall dedicate this thing. You who deny death, grant us fortune eternal. What does it say on this one? When the crimson words are found, I shall de dedicate this thing. O oh, you gods, deep in slumber, grant us fortune eternal. Is there more than one tombstone? Or is it just the one tombstone? What's over here? That's where we came up. Mm, I only see the one tombstone. Huh. No. Can I stack them? Or does it replace it? Uh, I don't know, turn 90 degrees. I put the blackboard into the hole. Looks a little weird. But the red one. Open holds on the boards are overlapping. I can still see the other side. Hmm. Okay, so this is what we start with. So I'm assuming we just want to cover up that thing completely. That's my guess. So let me I'm gonna take a picture of this. Uh, no, I'm assuming I keep the whiteboard and then I just rotate these ones is what I'm guessing. 
but I want to try covering up these uh, portions. So last time I wait. Count root. I I want to re remove it now. Actually, I should take a picture of these bl this black and the red one. I didn't even think about that, but let me let me take a picture of those two. Just so I have a picture of all three of them and can kind of like compare it. Nope, that's not what I want. Okay, so the black one looks like that. And what was the inscription? When the dark grail is found, I shall dedicate this thing. You who did deny death, grant us fortune eternal. Okay, let's look at the red one. When the crimson words are found, I shall dedicate this thing. O oh, you gods, deep in slumber, grant us fortune eternal. That looks like a book. Huh. Does a white one say anything? I should look at that real quick, actually. Uh, yes. Let's remove this one and see if that says anything on it. I'm sure it does. Along with you die joyed, all that remains is despair, and a future of meaningless tomorrows. But I will never give up, one to see your beautiful smile again, one to beg the blessings of the gods. I will wait for that day. When the boards cover all, all sadness too will be covered, but until my dreams return to reality, I will have to swallow all the pain. I'm taking pictures of all of this, by the way. Just so I can kind of go back to it and s kind of see what we have to do. But first, I did want to see, does this say anything? When the white breath is found, I shall dedicate this thing, O spirit of the mist, to grant us fortune eternal. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to try again just with the white one, just where it is. I don't know. Did it give us the option to turn it? No, it doesn't. So we're good with that one there. So we just need to cover those white holes, the, um, the remaining holes with the other ones. Pretty much. So the white one... Okay, I have a picture of the white one right here on my phone. Um, I almost want to do the white one first. And then turn it 90 degrees that way. And then we'll throw in the black one. Um, I think I see it. And then 80 degrees. No, there's still one thing up there, though. Hmm. Okay, let's try that again. So...
Well, no, because I don't want to. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you don't start with the white one first. For some reason, I thought you started with the white one. But maybe not. Where's a picture of this? Let's try this, I guess. And the white one over it. The picture of the white one was, it almost looks like I could flip it and it would cover up most of it, but No, the black one. It's those corner pieces are still throwing me off from the red one. I thought. It... Yeah. Now, of course, there's one piece still there. Hmm. <laughs> Go and move all of them because I'm not quite sure to be honest. All right, I think let's give this another shot now since I'm kind of looking at these pictures a little closer. I think I have a little bit of a better idea for how to do it. So I think we were good with the red board. The red, yeah, I think the red board was a good starting spot. Then let's go... Let's go black. Let me look at that picture again that I took. Okay, if we turn that 90 degrees to the right, then that covers one of those. Oh no, let's try that. Okay. Now the white one. Go back to the white one. So 
So if I turn if I turn this ninety degrees to the right, it should should cover up those two spots. I put the whiteboard into the hole. Is that right? When the three boards overlapped, the key came free. Yes, we got it. Hell yeah. That was a, that was a good one. That was a good puzzle. I didn't know what to do there. That tripped me up, but took a little bit of time, but we got it. Uh, what was the key for? Acadia? Is that what it says? Acacia tree. Engraved with the acacia flower found embedded in stone slab. We should probably reload too. I just messed up. Still have a lot of bullets, but I forgot that I was shooting a good amount in that last episode. What could we be using? Huh. I don't know what we could possibly be using for that. What is that sitting on the table? Can I get to that? I mean, there's books, but nothing else I can really see on there. Uh, da, 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 da. And there's that small room right there. Maybe that's what that's for, but I'm going to save real quick and then we can try that. Nope. Uh, well, let's try it. Not that one. That was the only locked one, right? Now we just have... Were there any locked ones in... No, we have to go upstairs. Okay. Okay, let's go upstairs and try unlocking one of those. Um... Although I'm not quite sure which one is locked up there. We'll have to look and see. So this was the one with Ernest. Can we do anything with the Ernest room in the lounge? Can we talk to Ernest? Let's talk to Ernest. Let's bother him. That's somewhere. Ernest, are you there? <laughs> Ernest. No. I guess not. Hey, yo, Ernest, open up. It's your girl Maria. <laughs> Not here either, really? No. Huh. Well, let's, uh... Has to be one of these, then. Maybe this one? No. It's out here. There is a locked one down here. Maybe it's this one. Yay! We got it! <laughs> this is a creepy mansion. I hope Maria tells her in a that one. Oh, I'm assuming it's his mansion. His last name is Baldwin. So, dude, I can't see shit. We need a flashlight. What you looking at? What is that? I clicked so fast I didn't even see what that was. Bullets? Maybe? Stuffed animals are lined up. Oh, you said something about Laura. Okay. I, I swear she said something about Laura. I don't know what she said, though. Oops. Closet. Kind of get a sense that maybe Laura was a bald one. Oh, 
What the fuck? Someone fell out the window? <laughs> what the fuck was that? There's a candle here. I, I want to look at the book. Uh, someone apparently fell out the window. But I can't see shit up here, dude. An attic. What is that? I can't see anything if only I had some light. Well, there's a candle. You know, pick up a candle and light that up. Yes, pick up the candle. Do we have a lighter? No. Weird. Huh. Maybe we have to come back up here. I don't know. I kind of think we have to come back there with a lighter or something. Apparently someone fell out of a tree or fell out the window. Apparently. Kids room, pianos room. A sun parlor. Hmm. Something here that I need? A doll sitting on the chair. Now that I look closer, it's filthy. Whoever whoever lived here must have really loved this thing. Small bed for a child. Fairy tales. It should so apparently I should have matches in my inventory, but those are revolver bullets. Oh my god, I am stupid. <laughs> I am so dumb. I'm sorry about that, guys. Wow, my bad. I just, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. I overthink these things way too much, dude. Like, I just need to keep it simple and not be fucking retard. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Can't pick it up and, like, carry it with me. Does it stay here? A lit candle provides some light in the era. Well, pick the fucking candle up. This is a spooky, like, 
attic where we heard voices and now there's no people here. There's a wooden box here. There's nothing particularly unusual about it. I don't care. Pick it up. It's a pile of junk. No one cares. There was this one corner out here that was curious, apparently. Is that a drawing? What is that? No, that's definitely not a drawing. What is... There's something below the chair. Is this a birthday card? To my dearest daddy... Ha Daddy, happy birthday from Amy Baldwin. Amy. Okay. Got the birthday card. Sweet. Anything else up here? I don't see I don't really see her head moving a lot. So maybe not. Kind of pressing on like anything just to see if I'm wrong, but I think we got ever. I think we just need the card. I think. What's this? Huh. Well, can I look at the Bible that's set in there, or whatever that is? No. Give it. What? Excuse me? this thing give it <laughs> that was fucking creepy I didn't like that oh, okay bye spooky girl <laughs> see ya <laughs> no thank you I my daddy. okay um I'm fucking freaked out. I don't like that. I don't like ghosts, so that freaks me out so much, dude. Oh shit, hi. Hi there. I have a present for you, motherfucker. Holy f crap, the revolver is good. Okay. There's too much stuff in this already. <laughs> we have a ghost girl and now we have mannequins. Great. Two things I don't like very much. Can I light this candle too? Can I light all the candles? No. We're because the matches are gone now. Damn it. I already forgot where the guy is. Where are you at, Ernest? Uh, I shouldn't have left. Oops. What the fuck? What are you doing here? Hawk two. Hey. Go back here, you little shit. Oh god, it's gonna spit on me. Run! Die! I'm gonna put my revolver. Fuck these guys. You guys want to fuck with Maria? You want to fuck with me? Yeah, not so funny now, is it? Punk. Oh, 
Are we good? Are you gonna be squirmy? Stop resisting. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I chased them all the way down here just to do that. All right, I'm assuming this is daddy. No. Okay. Wait, is it unlocked now? Oh, it is. Okay. That's weird. Ernest? Broken clock. A book. There's a book here. It looks like a plant encyclopedia. Acacia. Uh, the genus of evergreen trees of the mimosa tribe of the pea family. Its tiny flowers are yellow or white and grow in clusters. Common varieties include the gum tree. The Acacia tree is a potent symbol in many religions across the world. In Christianity, it represents eternal life and morality. In ancient Egypt, it represented purity and rebirth, while in ancient Babylonia, it was it was thought of as the tree of the goddess Ishtar and was a symbol of life. It was also a holy tree to the ancient Jews who built the sacred Ark of the Covenant, from who built uh, who built the sacred Ark of the Covenant from it, and whom for whom it signified a peaceful death and a release from grief. Interesting. I love reading about stuff like that. It's so cool. Okay, got a first aid kit. What's this? Nothing interesting. Oh no. Bad bugs. <laughs> Why do I keep shooting the bug? Is it dead or is it not? Where the fuck are we? <laughs> okay. I think it went in a circle. Oh, I just opened up the other door. Gotcha. I get opened up from the other side. Okay. Let's go back in there and explore over here. Where the bugs eat buggies are. Do you see, did you see that shadow of the mannequin? What? What? What's down here? Locks. Okay. Last one. Looking at something. Have we been here before too? All these rooms are confusing. No, we haven't been down up here. Broken lock. What are you looking at? Bullets? Look at the mist outside in the window. Ooh. There's a mop and a bucket here. I don't really feel like cleaning anyway. <laughs> I I wouldn't imagine you to be cleaning anyways, uh Maria. To be honest. I probably should should save soon, shouldn't I? Oh, we're low on health. I didn't even notice I told you so. <laughs> oh, shit. This is why I die so often in games. It's because I don't pay attention.
Hmm. Yeah, let's uh check out the study in these other rooms if we can. What? He was right on my ass. You see that? I can't see anything. It's so dark in this house. We need a light like James had. There's a clock here, but it looks like it's not running anymore. This won't do me any good. Lost memories. I have the strongest trust, you may even call it faith, in the miracle called resurrection of the dead. Upon the hill where the light descended, the beast intoned his song. With words of blood, drops of mist, drops of mist in the vessel of night, the grave became an open field. The people wept in fear and joy at the reunion, but my faith in this in the salvation of Zu, uh, Zu, 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 Zu Papa, Zukopapa did not waver. It is also spoken in the ancient legends. The original worshippers did not believe that the death was the end, but that it was simply the path by which the deceased returned to nature. They also believed their process was re was reversible. There's something imprinted towards the bottom of the page. Did Ernest write this? What could it mean? Blood equals red. Mist equals white. Night equals black. That seems important. Mm -hmm. no, I'm not interested in the... Hold on, what did she say? The book it's the bookshelf is lined with cut complete editions of difficult looking books. I'm not interested in any of that. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Doesn't seem like anything else is super interesting. Do you know a little girl named Amy? Why do you ask me that? This letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Oh. What a fool. Now. It's too late. I finally understand why. Why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she, when she fell. Ernest. Amy. She isn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. It's funny. I'm not sure which one is sad. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Maria? So you must be... That's why. That's why you could see me. What? Huh? 
so perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You... want me to get it for you? Please. Why don't you just get it yourself? If I could, believe me, I would. But I... White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you.